This conference will now be recorded. Even even freaking better. I'm going to start from scratch. You open up you open up your contact list. You click upper left hand corner file, you go down to to open and export and you click import export. Okay? And you have all these options here. You go to import from another program or file. Import from another program or file. Cool so far? I'm waiting for you to look up Nancy because I want you to see it. So you write that down when you look up, I'll hit it. Click yep. next. It's gotta be, it has to be CS, CSV. I don't want to import their entire contact card CSV only because I'm emailing. So when you when you have an Excel spreadsheet, it, it has first name, last name, email address, and you have to save as a dot CSV. So when you import it, you get this. So I'm gonna click here. Tomorrow's group is group two. So I'm going to click on group two. Now, do you see replace duplicates? I'm not doing that because I don't want to replace. I'm not, I don't want to allow duplicates because I don't want to send the same person to the same email six times. Do not, right mm -hmm. there, import duplicate items. And then I'm going to click next. And then group two is going to be added to the group we just had. And th this, uh, so I'm going to click next and I'm in 17, 17's on the screen, 17's today's group. It's lit up here in blue right there. I'm going to click next and group two, which is showing that it's selected, is going to import. Now, if you look at the bottom left-hand corner real quick. We have a 25-person group. I'm going to add a 34-person group to it, but that 25 is not going to go up by 34 because there's dupes. If it did, if it added the dupes, it jumped to 59-ish, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to jump to that. So I'm going to go finish, going to go import, and it and I added a 35-person group, and it went up by 23. So 12 dupes did not get added. Now we have both groups in one with no dupes. <laughs> now let's say for fun, Nancy, that we're in more than two groups because you are. Watch this. Going to click file, go down two to open it, more export. Going to Go to import, going to code import from a program or file. CSV is selected, and I'm going to add, let's add uh, the 9 a.m. group that happened a couple days ago. That's group three. Boom. Do not import. Now we're going to add a 33-person group to the 48 would, would put us at 81 if it replaced the dupes. I mean, if it added the dupes, but it's definitely not going to jump to 81. It jumped to 59, so it added 11. So it, it took out. 24 dupes. So now I have three groups together and it's 60 emails, 59 emails, instead of being 100 emails with many, many dupes. That's how you do it. Cool? You have to do that each and every time you're wanting to uh, add all the groups together? Yep. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. Very or, good. or do you see the 17 that's lit up on the left? This is now three groups. If the membership never changes, I don't need to change it. That's why I have so many groups. If you look on the left side, that's how I have so many different lists. This would never change, Nancy. You could take all the groups, throw them in one folder. Now, if if somebody gets added to the group, you have to add it manually. You just click new contact right there and add it. Um, and if somebody leaves B2B, you just click on them and you click uh, delete and you take them out. That's what I do. You good? Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Have fun. I'll All see right. you guys tomorrow or next week. Thank you. Everybody Thanks, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.